coming in here, Helen? Do you know? No, Mr. Barrow. No, I don't. Uh, Harry Brock, by any chance? Not the room clerk, please. Supposed to meet this guy, that's all. Wondered if maybe he was coming in here. Brock. Mm, I figure. Who's Brock? Harry Brock. Never heard of him. <laughs> you will, Helen. Big man. Ran a little junk company into 50 million bucks with no help from anyone or anything except World War II. Anybody checks into 67D? I've had no desire to be. Believe me. Why not? Listen, you know what they charge for this layout? 235 a day. Who told you? Frank. Oh. What about it? Listen, anybody spends 235 a day in a hotel room, there ought to be a law. Mm, too many laws already. Well, I'm getting 18 a week. I don't know why <laughs> anybody should spend 235 a day. <laughs> for a hotel room. That's what I say. I know some people who call you a communist. Tell them I'm thinking about it. Seriously. Change what you think? Uh, what? Washington. Oh, not enough. I could stand a little more change. The idea of the war wasn't to leave everything the same, you know. Trouble with you, Mr. Right Barrow. this way, you sir. Much. Hey, these stay down and the rest goes up. Hey, watch it. Here we are. Hey, it's all right. Service wing? Yeah, the bed chambers are right this way. We also have a 24 hour room service. Hello, Mr. Brock. How are you? Who the hell was that? Search me. Hey, what kind of joint is this? People in and out of the place all the time. Mrs. Brock seems delighted with the bed chamber. It's not Mrs. Brock. Oh, I see. It's all right, just don't get nosy. Not at all. There ain't no Mrs. Brock sent my mother and she's dead. I see. Eddie! Take care. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is, thank you so much, Mr. Brock. All right, all right. Just listen. Anybody who works in here, tell them to do it good, do it quick, and nobody will get hurt. I'm a big dipper guy. I don't like a lot of people hanging around. I don't like waiting for nothing. I ain't used to it. I'm sure it'll be just that, Mr. All right, knock off. Thank you very much, Mr. Brock. Hey, hey Billy! It's not bad, huh? It's all right. All right, she <laughs> says. You know what this place cost me a day? Two thirty-five, you tell me. That's right. Hello, Eddie. Hello. Ah, welcome to our city. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I say, I got this ticket to be fixed. What's it about? Ah, uh, just some louses we blew in the town. I would like to impress something upon your non-existent intellect. The fact that I'm a lawyer does not mean that I own the law. Hey, hey, what I do, what I do? Let's see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blasted again? <laughs> Still. <laughs> oh. I told you, I got a couple things can't wait. Oh, don't worry about me, Massa. I can spot a loophole at 40 paces. <laughs> what do we make out? I'm gonna be all right. May cost a little more than we expected. No cause for alarm. How uh, much more? It's negligible. Why more? Supply and demand, Harry. Crooks are becoming rare in these parts, therefore they come high. Don't worry. What do you mean, don't worry? This kind of stuff ain't deductible, you know. You know, not so sure. <laughs> Maybe we could make a trial issue out of it. Yeah. Item, one bribe, $80,000. 80? You're very handy with my dough, you know it? Harry Brock's apartment. Yeah, who wants him? Hold on a sec. Hey, Jim! There's some guy for you, Barrow. Oh, thanks, Eddie. How are you, Paul? Oh, good, good. Jay, how's the crusade business going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, any time now. All right, yeah, sooner the better. Uh, see ya. What's all that? Paul Barrow, I told you about him. Remember, Bill Barrow. He's a writer, New Republic, wants an interview. Yeah. He's a good kid, just got back from Europe with a lot of ideas and a lot of energy. I don't want to talk to no writers, I gotta get shaved. I think you'd better talk to this one. What's so important? Just do it. Why? This is one of the few fellows in Washington to look <coughs> out for. Right. The thing to do is, you take him in, then he doesn't go snooping. All right, Eddie! So how's Bill? She's all right, she's upstairs. Get me a shave up here, will you? Sure. Uh, Harry? Yeah. Uh, 
Barbershop, tell Billy to wear something nice and plain for the senator. He could be bringing his wife. Well, tell her yourself. You ain't pregnant. Uh, Hi, this is Harry Brock's apartment. <laughs> yeah, send up a barber and a manicure right away. Harry Brock. All right, make it snappy. And a shine. And a shine. I'll be right up. Eddie, how would you like to save my life? Sort of plain water. Neat. Right. Hey, don't worry about Billy. One thing she knows is how to dress. You know what cost me for clothes for her? That's not all I'm worried about, Harry. Well, what then? Well, did you have to bring Billy? Hey, I may be here God knows how long. Thing is, this is a city of few secrets and much chat. Anybody chats me, I bust them in half. Fine, yeah, that'll get you right where you want to go. Up with the dress for dinner bunch. Yeah, what do I care? I don't know, what do you care? <clears throat> oh, thanks. Oh. Listen, Harry. You have a chance here to be one of the men who runs this country. Better than that, you can run the men who run it. It's going to take power. You got some. It takes money. You got plenty. But above all, it takes judgment and intelligence. <laughs> and? And that's why you pay me a hundred grand a year. It's all the excitement. Nothing. Just trying to make it clear where I fit in. He's honest to God. The way you're talking to me, I thought I did something wrong. When Farrell gets here, be nice to the guy. Be friendly. Don't bull him. All right. Just be yourself. Treat him like a dame you're trying to make. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll leave you alone with him. It's better that way. I want to talk to Billy anyhow. Paul! Oh. Jim! Ah, uh, Paul Farrell? Harry Brock. How are you? How do you do, sir? Hey, ain't I seen you someplace before lately? Oh. Excuse me for my coat off. I gotta get shaved and so forth. I hope you don't mind. What have you been telling this guy about me, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, see you two gentlemen in a moment. Sure, sure. Ah, sit down. What do you drink? Uh, scotch, please, if you got it. If I got it. Hey! Of course I got it. What the hell have you been? Nothing. Well, speak I... around for Christ's sake. Give this man a scotch and uh, soda? Uh, plain water. Plain water. Right, uh, right ginger ale for you? That's right. <laughs> he always knows what I feel to drink. He's worked for me I don't know how long. Also, he's my cousin. He knows me insides out. Ain't that right? That's right. Maybe I should be interviewing Eddie. Hey, that's pretty good. Maybe he got something there. So, uh, what's it gonna be, pal? A plug or a pen? <laughs> Why, it's Well, I like to know these things. They know how to talk, if I know your angle. No angle. Just, well, just the facts. <laughs> a pen. Not exactly. Thanks. Hey, that's all right. Don't worry. The way I look at it is this way. You can't hurt me, and you can't help me. Nobody can. Hey, I'm only here talking to you because Jim asked me. I mean, what the hell? I pay a guy a hundred grand a year for advice, so I'm a sucker if I don't take it, right? That's right. Shut up, will you? <laughs> anyway, Debbie likes it when I get wrote about it. Well, of course, in Washington, Mr. Brock, there's a certain value to the right kind of approach Oh, cut it out, will you? You're breaking my heart here. Washington. I licked every town I ever decided, so what's different? Have a cigar. Uh, thanks. I'll give it to a congressman. Oh, and it cost me five bucks a piece from uh, Cuba someplace. In that case, I'll give it to a senator. <laughs> Senators are pretty fixed up around here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Why shouldn't they be? Hey, you know what a senator is to me? A guy who makes around 200 bucks a week. <laughs> What are you putting in? Uh, your little joke. Oh, you liked it, huh? Uh, first class. Uh, maybe I should get on the radio. <laughs> maybe. How much you want to bet I make more than those uh, Amos and Andy? No bet. Eh? So go ahead, pal. What do you want to know? How much money have you got? What? <laughs> how much money have you got? Well, how should I know? What am I, an accountant? You don't know? <laughs> Not exactly. 50 million? I'm telling you, I don't know. 10 million? Maybe. 1 million? More. Come on. Plenty. Okay. And I made every nickel. Nobody ever gave me nothing. Nice work. Tell right away you're gonna give me the business. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. Nah, it's all right. Go no, ahead, no, no, go no, ahead, tell me for me. I got more people working for me than no What's your feeling on no, the situation? No, go ahead. Make me out to be a mug and a rough neck. It'll do me good. Because everybody gets scared. And for me, that's good. Everybody scares easy. <clears throat> Not everybody. Hey, listen, enough, all right? All you can do is build me up or shut up. Have another drink. Oh, no thanks, really. Hey, do what I'm telling you. Who the hell pays you around here? Yeah. 
Back home, he shaves me every morning. I got my own barber chair. Ain't that right? That's right. So, uh, what do you want to know, pal? Go ahead. Where were you born? Jersey. Hmm. Played through New Jersey in 1907. I'll tell you, my first job was a paper route. I bought a kid out with a swift kick in the keystone. And uh, you've been working ever since? Yeah, over 25 years. 25 years in the same racket. Steel? No, 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 junk. Not steel, junk. Oh. Listen, don't try to butter me up. I'm a junk man, I ain't ashamed of you. All right. Let me give you some advice, son boy. Never crap a crap. I can sling it with the best of them. <laughs> Uh, 25 years, you said? Yeah. So, hey, I'm this kid with the paper out, right? So I got this little wagon. So on my way home nights, I go through the alleyways picking up stuff. But I'm not the only one doing it. All the kids are doing it. Only difference is they keep it. Not me. I sell it. Pretty soon I'm making seven, eight bucks a week from that. Three bucks from papers, huh? So I figure out right away which is the better racket. I mean, just a kid, but I can see that much. So pretty soon, the guy I'm selling to is getting me anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks a week. <laughs> so this guy offers me a job for 10. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> jerk. I've been selling him his own stuff back half the time, and he never knew it. Uh, how do you mean? <laughs> well, in the nighttime, see? I'd go under the fence, right? And I'd drag it all out, and i load it up, and in the morning, I'd come through front ways and collect. Huh. <laughs> Twelve years old you were. Something like that. So pretty soon you owned the whole yard. Damn right. You know that guy, Dirk? He works for me now. You know who else works for me? The kid whose paper route I swiped. I figured I owe him. It's the way I am. Pretty good years for the junk business these last few. I ain't kicking. You anticipate a decline now? Talk plain, pal. Is it still going to be good, do you think? Oh yeah, we'll make it good. Who's we? We is me. That's me. I see. Hey, that fancy talk don't go with me. <coughs> Good evening. In here, sir? Yeah, come on in. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll no, just go. No, no, sit down, sit down. I like you. Can you play your cards right? I'll put you on the payroll, you know what I mean? Uh, sure. All right. Hey, one sober easy and no talking. You just brush them up. I get a manicure every day. Yes, sir. What do you want? Get over there! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Go ahead, pal. It's okay. I'd like to know what you're doing in Washington, Mr. Brock. None of your goddamn business. <laughs> sure it is. How oh, come? You're a big man, Mr. Brock. Hey, hey. Not so tight. Sorry, sir. Sightseeing. That's what I'm doing in Washington. Sightseeing. All right. Put that in the right up and nobody gets scared. How long do you think you'll be around? Depends on how many sights I've got to see. Some say you'll be around for a long, long time. Where'd you get that? Around. Ball. Hey, listen. I don't like the politics racket. I got enough trouble with my own racket. Some say you come to find out. Listen, pal, so far I've been nice to you. Don't bump me. My life work. Well, don't work on me. I want to be friends with you. So, how are you getting on with the monarch of all these surveys? Oh, great. Found out he was born in Plainfield, New Jersey. Sure is a tough man to dig. Oh, I can't believe that. He loves to talk. Not to me. I told you my whole life story, practically. Well, tell me how much money he's got. I'm telling you, I don't know. And he wouldn't tell me what he's doing here in Washington. It's none of your business. No big deal. Just a little tax stuff. I told you. I know, but I didn't believe you. <laughs> oh, Billy. Uh, this is my friend Paul Barrow. Billy Dom. How do you do? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's the matter? Where are you going with that? Upstairs. Put it back. I just wanted to... I know what you wanted. Put it back. I, no, you can't. I got people coming here, important people, and I don't want you stinking. Why can't I have this to No! Now put it back, go upstairs, change your clothes, and don't give me no more trouble. Do what I'm telling you! Say, Barb, what did you take to cut his throat? Some kind of jokes. I don't like Jim. Oh, now don't get excited. Don't tell me what to do. Jesus, Harry, it was just a joke. Oh, Peter. Come on, take off. 
Eddie, take care of him. Well, if you'll excuse me, I should be on my way. No, no, don't go. I really should. I've got some work to attend to. Hey, can't you stick around? You're the only friend I got left around here. Well, uh, I'm not far. If anyone starts beating you, just scream and I'll come running. Yeah. <laughs> Little old Dally off right down the hall. Fine. Other side of the tracks, of course. Hey, don't kick me. I hear you do quite well. Good night, Jim. Night. Yeah, see you soon, huh? Good night. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Do you think I need Billy to sign? Sure. Billy! I'm all down here! What's the matter? You sore? Not sore, Harry. You sure you look kind of funny? I know. You want an aspirin or something? No. No, I'm fine. In fact, considering that I've been dead for the past 16 years, I'm in remarkable health. You know, sometimes I don't understand a word you say. Sometimes? What do you want? Jim, a few things for you to sign, honey. That's all I ever do around here is sign. Oh, too bad about you. What time's that senator guy coming? Any time now. I better get cleaned up. Does she look all right to you? Look who's talking! Perfect. You're sure now? What's the matter with me? Because uh, you better tell me if there's something wrong. I don't want to start out with no left foot. Don't worry. Wants to make a good impression, that's all. That'll let him. Uh, two places on this one, please. What happened to all that stuff I signed last week? All you've done. I bet I signed about a million of these. What'd you get for being a multiple corporate officer? I am? <laughs> well, what do you know? You've come a long way from the chorus, haven't you? I wasn't just in the chorus. and anything else, I spoke lines. Really? Sure. How many? How many you at? Lines, did you speak? Oh, five. Yes, I am. He was here, but he's not here now. Oh, just a friend. I never drink with men I don't know. Take off, Buster! I never knew that. Ask anyone. I believe you. I could have been a star, probably, if I'd have stuck to it. Why didn't you? Harry doesn't like me being in the show. He doesn't like to share me with anyone. I see. He's changed, Harry. Don't you think so? How? Oh. I don't know. He used to be, like, more satisfied. Now he's always running around, like, like this. So what do we have to come to Washington, D.C. for? Long story. Well, don't tell it to me. I don't care where he goes. I just wish he'd settle down. He's ambitious. I'll say. He talks all the time now. He never used to. Now he's got me up half the night telling me what a big man he is. Oh, he's going to be bigger. Run everything. He may at that. Personally, I don't care one way or the other. Very few people do. <laughs> Why he ain't make it to do it? The curse of civilization. Don't care is Satan's key to success. What kind of talk is that? You drunk or something? <laughs> drunk and something. All right, I give up. Take it easy. Look, now, don't you start. It's better if you drink later, Billy, after they've gone. What's the deal anyway? No deal. Just important people, that's all. Who, the senator guy? And Mrs. Hedges. Harry says this fellow works for him. In a way. So what's he putting it on for? Well, I suppose he wants him to keep working for him. Too deep for me. Look, all you have to do is be nice and no rough language. I won't open my mush. That's not what I meant. You know, I don't have to be down here at all, you know. I could go upstairs and next, I think I can. I'm telling you, Billy, Harry wouldn't like it. Oh, all right, all right, all right. How are you, Norfolk? Can't complain. Uh, I haven't seen you in a long time, Anna. No, you haven't. Come in, come in. Good evening. Oh, Senator, you should remember this little lady, a great personality like yourself. She used to be Billy Dog. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Billy, this is Senator Norval Hedges, who I've told you so much about. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Mrs. Hedges. 
Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Would you care for a drink? Love one. Sounds good to me. Bourbon? That'd be fine. Bourbon's all around, Eddie. Right. That's going to hit the spot real fine. He's awfully tired. Oh, what have you been doing? Standing over a hot resolution all day? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> How do you like Washington, Mrs. Brock? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it yet. You mean to say this is the very first time you've been here? That's what I mean. I never went on the road. Well, we'll have to show you around. Beautiful city. Too bad the Supreme Court isn't in session. You'd love that. Well, what is it? <laughs> There's a, a lot of people who'd like to know the answer to that question, Billy. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, uh, what's back of this jam Mrs. R's gotten herself into? Uh, give her a lot of rope. I said it from the start. Huh? I know. The trouble with these Hello, everybody. Oh, here we are. Uh, Senator Norval Hedges, Harry Brock. How are you, Senator? About time us two got together, huh? Eh? About time. This must be Mrs. Edges. That's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so Please much. sit down. Sit down, Senator. How was your trip down? I come down to my car. I came. I had to make a little stop in Baltimore, though. I got a little yard there, a junkyard. Is that so? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you the truth, that ain't what the trouble it is to have it running, but uh, it's the second yard I ever picked up. Before that, I only had one. How many do you have now? Hell, I don't know. Oh, excuse oh, me. Quite all right. Something about that Baltimore yard, yeah, though, it gives me, I, I get a kind of feeling from it, you know what I mean? Yeah, sentimental. That's it, I'm sentimental, like you say. Oh, I think we're all a bit sentimental. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's a free country. <laughs> <laughs> How about things with you, Senator? Uh, same old brain. You got a job I don't ever want to be. <laughs> People probably pestering you all the time, right? Part of the job. <laughs> Do you play bridge, Mrs. Brock? No, only gin. I beg your pardon? Gin, Mammy? <coughs> oh, yes, of course. I was going to ask you to join us. A few of the girls we meet every now and then. Yeah, well, I don't play bridge. You can learn if you want it. I don't think so. Sure you could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she couldn't play gin till I learned it. Now she beats my brains up. <laughs> Uh, so, how are you set for time tomorrow, Norval? Um, pretty tight, I'm afraid. Uh, I wanted to bring Harry over on a few things. Um, 10 o'clock okay? How's that for you? Uh, in the morning? Yes. <laughs> it's pretty early for me. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> 11. Okay. Where will you be? I can stop by here if that's all right. Oh, fine, fine. Right on my way. You want to wash your hands or anything, honey? <laughs> so I uh, I hope you're free Friday night. Um, I think so. Are we, dear? Oh, we can be. Ah, oh, that a girl. <laughs> I'm having a little dinner. A few people I want Harry to meet. And who want to meet him? I'm sure. Ah, I'm just a junk man, Senator. Most experienced in America. <laughs> uh, no, not if you're a big junk man. I want to thank you, Mr. Brock, for everything. Hey, call me Harry, won't you, Senator? I haven't written to you, Harry, but you understand. I just want to know I appreciate all your support. Hey, don't mention it. Just tip for that, huh? Excuse me. Uh, listen, Senator. Uh, this is what I think. Certain kind of guys ought to stick together, you know what I mean? That's my feeling. You know what I'm interested in. Scrap iron. I want to buy it, I want to move it, and I want to sell it. And I don't want a lot of buttoning in with rules and regulations at no stage of the game. Obviously. Uh, I'm not talking about peanuts here. All that junk I've been selling for the last 15 years, well, it's junk again. And I can sell it again once I get my hands on it. Do you know how much junk there is all over Europe where the war was? No, I don't. I don't either. Nobody does. Nobody ever will know. It's more than you can think of. Well, I want to get my hands on it and bring it over here where I can use it. <coughs> Who does it belong to anyway? Why, isn't that interesting? I have a copy of a preliminary survey I made out by um, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Boil it down, give it to me quick, okay? I didn't come down here to do a lot of paperwork. Listen, this is the way I work. It's every man for himself, like dog eat dog. Like you gotta get the other guy before he gets you. Exactly. All right then. What I got in mind is an operating combo all over the world. Now there's enough in it for everybody, if they're in, that is. Up to now, I'm doing fine and I wanna get moving, but Jim here comes up with a new problem every day. This tax, this tariff, that tariff, this department, that department. I'm sure that you understand, Normal, that in an operation of this Listen, time, that's a lot of hot air to me. All I know is there's a way to do anything. It's up to you two guys to figure out how. Normal's been working along those lines. Yes, the Hedges Keller Amendment, for example, guarantees no interference with free enterprise. Whether it's foreign or domestic, we're working as hard as we can to pass it as quickly as possible. Well, see that you do. That's what I came down here for, to get what I paid for. One more? Uh, no thank you. Come on, Saturday. One more for the road, huh? Eh? All right. Come on, sit down. How are things with you? Generally? Yeah, generally. Ah, uh, not that. Just the case of staying on the alert. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> I told Sam last week the people in this country are going to have to wake up. Are the people going to run the government, or is the government going to run the people? Hey, that's right. You know where I'd be today if I had to start up my business? <laughs> up the creek. Oh. It's good sound thinking, Norval. Thank you. <coughs> Worthy of Holmes. Great man, Holmes. Mm -hmm. My personal god. Uh, who? Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr. A wonderful man. Is he coming Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Too bad. Well, I don't think we should give you. Oh, no, indeed. Hey, don't go. We stay up all the time. Well, I didn't mean this to be a problem, but we'll be seeing a lot of each other, I'm sure. Wait a minute, Senator. That's something you brought it down special. There you oh, go. Thank you, Harry. It's a pleasure. Good night. Good night, Senator. Good night, Mrs. Bra. Good night. Good night, and thank you so much. What for? Hey, wait till I get settled down here. I'll give you something to thank you for. Good night, Jim. Good night. See you tomorrow, Norma. See ya. Good night, all. Jeez. Knock off, Eddie. Drips? What? I said they're drips. Well, who are you to say? I'm myself, that's who. Oh, shut up. Nobody asked you. Get upstairs! Not yet. <laughs> Get upstairs, I told you. me up all the way down the line. Goddamn dumb broad. Send her home. No. Why not? I'm nuts about it. <sighs> Can't have your cake and eat it. What? <laughs> it's just an expression. Don't make no sense. All right. What's cake got to do with it? <laughs> Nothing, Harry. <laughs> There's got to be a way to spot her up, ain't there? I suppose so. Some kind of school or something? I doubt that. Then what? Well, maybe we could find someone to smooth the rough edges off. Oh. Well, well I'll think about it. Yeah. While I'm thinking about that, there's something you should be turning over in your mind. Yeah, what? Well, if you have to have her around you, the possibility of getting married. Not me. Why not? I've been married. I don't like it. How long have you 
you know, been with Bill? I don't know. Eight, nine years? Why? Well, what the hell then? I don't know. It gets different when you get married. You know, why should it? I don't know why should it. It just does. It's like this. If I buy her something now, I'm a hell of a fella. If we get married, uh, she's got it coming, she thinks. Billy is not like that. Hey, broad's a broad. Time may come. You'll be sorry. Don't shove me. All right. And don't treat me like I'm some kind of dope. I know what I'm doing. Sure you do. And stop giving me them Harvard College expressions on your face. So far, you still work for me. That's right, Harry. All right, then. If I ask you something, just tell me. And don't give me them looks down your nose. Now, why should I get married all of a sudden? You're moving up here. Huh? Bigger places, bigger people. Yeah. No matter what goes on underneath, these people make sure of their respectable fronts. The hell with them. Oh, now that's just talk. You're in the big leagues now, and there are certain rules. Like what? Like you gotta be married? No. Like you can't expect to just pass off a setup like this. There is such a thing as being too colorful. All right, all right. Jeez, I'll think about it. But if I do or if I don't, we gotta figure out something to do with her. Huh? <laughs> she just don't fit in. And do you think so? Fit? Every time she opened her kisser tonight, something wrong came out. <laughs> Hell of it is, she doesn't realize. Hey, couldn't you talk to a gym? Take more than talk, I'm afraid. And what? It's a big job, man. It's not easy to make a person over. Maybe impossible. She has to have a great many things explained to her. I won't be around enough. Even if I was, I couldn't do it. No patience. I'm too old. I don't know enough myself. I mean, not the kind of thing that she needs to have. Wait a minute. What? I got it. What? The interview guy. Who? The guy down the hall. Well, there's a smart cookie, huh? Knows the town, knows the angles. Very classy with that bowing. Huh? Well, he could do it. Probably, but he won't. Why not? Well, he's not the kind of guy. Who hey, I'll pay him whatever he wants. I don't think so. Uh, I'll make you a bet, huh? What's his name again? No, wait a minute. Come Harry. on, what? Beryl, Paul Beryl. I like it. Now, Harry, I really don't think that this is the best way. Give me Beryl. Yeah, Mr. Beryl. No, I really wish you wouldn't just. Go Will you shut me? up? How you doing, pal? Harry Brock here. Yeah, I want to have a little talk with you. I want to make you a little proposition. No, nothing like that. No, no, no. This is absolutely legitimate. Yeah. Okay, fine, you do that. I'll be right here. Okay, fine. I like that guy. Huh? Well enough to have him around with Billy all the time. Are you kidding me with them glasses? Jeez. Hey, this is all right. I can feel it. I may hit him up for some dope once in a while myself. And what about Billy? She might not care for the idea. She'll do what I tell her. That's not the point, Harry. People don't learn anything unless they want to. Hey, if she knows what's good for her, she'll do it. You know best. Damn right. What should I pay this guy? Seems to me you ought to try just putting it on a friendly basis. No, I don't believe in nothing on no friendly basis. Look, I know this fellow. I know lots of fellows. Money talks. Well, why don't you just sit down and discuss things? Hey, come on in, pal. Thanks. I have a drink? Uh, no thanks. All I'm right. in the middle of something. Come on in. Sure. Have a seat. That's what I want to ask you something. How much you make a week? <laughs> How should I know? What am I, an accountant? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, I like this guy. Uh, what's your name again? Vero. Not your regular name. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Listen, Paul, he's the layup. I got this friend, a good kid. I think you've seen her around here before, huh, Billy? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, like I said, she's a good kid, but uh, a little on the stupid side, huh? It's not her fault. I got her out of the chorus. For the chorus, she was smart enough. But uh, I'm afraid that in this town, she's going to be a little nervous with the people and things that go on. You know what I mean? No. Well, I figure a guy like you could help her out. And me, too. How? Well, show the town, 
show her the ropes, all the angles, you know, in your spare time. Uh, what do you say? No, I don't think I could handle it, Mr. Brock. It, it would mean a lot to me. I'll give you 200 bucks a week. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. All right, I like this guy. When do I start? Right now. What about right now? Fine. All right. I'll bring it down and introduce you, and uh, you take it from there, all right? Good. Billy! Come on down here! She's a good kid, you'll like her. I'm getting dressed. It's all right, come on, come on, come on. It's okay, he's a friend of the family. Honey, this is Mr. Paul Vera. Yes, I know. All right, sit down. He wants to have a little talk with you. About what? He'll tell you. Jim, you can stop upstairs, huh? All yeah, right. Mr. Brock has an idea he'd like us to spend a little time together. You and me, that is. You don't say. Yes? Ah, oh, you some kind of gigolo? <laughs> <laughs> mm, not exactly. Well, what's the idea? Nothing special. He just wants me to put you wise to a few things, show you the ropes, answer any questions. I got no questions. I'll give you some. Thanks. <laughs> Might be fun for you in a way. There's a lot to see down here. I'd be happy to show you around. You know the Supreme Court? Yes. I'd like to take that in. All right. <coughs> on then. How do you mean? Uh, the arrangements. I don't mind. I got nothing much to do. Good. What's he paying you? Two hundred. <laughs> You're a sucker. You could have got more. He's got plenty. <laughs> I would have done it for nothing. <laughs> I would. Why? This isn't work. I like it. He thinks I'm too stupid, huh? <laughs> no, He's he right. I'm stupid and I like it. <laughs> you do? Sure. I'm happy. I got everything I want. Two big coats, everything. If I want some, I ask. And if he don't come across, I don't come across, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, yes, I do. So as long as I know how to get what I want, that's all I need to know. As long as you know what you want. Sure. What? As long as you know what you want. Are you trying to mix me up? No. I'll tell you what I would like. Yes? I'd like to learn how to talk good. All right. Is it hard to learn? I don't think so. Then what do I have to do? Well, I might give you a few books to start with. Then if you don't mind, I'll correct you now and then. Go ahead. When I know that is, I don't talk so good myself. You do. Fine. I never say eight. Did you notice that? Never. I do. Well, I'll correct you then. Do that. Ever since I was very small, I never say we used to have this teacher, she'd slug you if you did it. Did what? That ain't. Oh. But I got out of the habit. Do you think it was worth the slugging? Well, not hard. It's the principle of the thing. It's too much slugging. I don't believe in it. Well, then I don't believe in it either. <laughs> Good. I learned pretty fast, don't I? You're great, Miss Don. <laughs> Billy. Billy. It's sort of an odd name, isn't it? Talking, half the kids I know are named it. Besides, it's not my real name. What is? My God, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Do I look to you like an Emma? Uh, no, you don't look like a Billy either. Then what do I look like? Me? Yeah, to you. You look like a little angel. Let me ask you, are you one of them talkers or would you be interested in a little action? <laughs> huh? I got a yen for you right off. Do you get many? No, and then. What do you usually do about them? Mm, stick around. You'll find out. <laughs> All right. I will. No, 
I'll give you a tip. Sweet talk me. I like it. Like that little angel line. Don't worry about him. He don't see a thing. He's too dizzy from being a big man. This is going to be a little different than I thought. Do you mind? No. You're so detached. We'll educate each other. <laughs> uh, now, about those books. Yeah? I'll drop them by for you later. Uh, I'll look around my place, too, if there's anything interesting. I'll bring it by later. All right. Uh, we can figure out a time every day, the day before. Mm -hmm. Or the night. Sure. <laughs> well, you two gonna get together? Yeah, I think we're all set. Great, great. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll just be on a drink. Uh, no, thanks. I Oh, see you tomorrow, Harry. All right. Good night, Billy. Good night. Good night. Hey, so long, kid. I appreciate it, huh? So do I. Okay. So long, kid. <laughs> attention to this barrel guy, you could uh, learn something, you know? All right. You're in the big leagues now, I don't want you to commit that. All right. If you can't fit in, I can't have you around here, that's no ball. You gotta watch what you do. And what you say. Three! <laughs> You could 
use a little education yourself, if you ask me. Well, who asked you? Nobody. So shut up. Papers? You could have saved yourself the trouble. I don't read papers. Never? Once in a while, the back part. I think you should, the front part. Why? Because it's interesting. Not to me. Well, how do you know if you never read it? Look, if you're going to turn out to be a pest, we can call the whole thing off right now. Sorry. I read the papers sometimes, the front part. I just don't understand it, so what's the sense? I'll tell you what to do. Look through these. Anything you don't understand, make a mark. Then tomorrow I'll explain whatever I can, all right? All right. And I thought you might like these. I'll try. No, don't do that. Just start reading. If there's something that you don't like, stop. Stir reading something else. There's only one problem. My eyesight isn't so hot. Why don't you wear glasses? <laughs> glasses? Why not?
He'd like to hear how I'm doing, but he doesn't want to see me if I'm still living the life of a concubine. I looked it up. He always used to say, don't do nothing you wouldn't want printed on the front page of the New York Times. Hey, I just realized I practically told you the whole story of my life by now, practically. Enjoyed it very much. What about the story of your life? Oh, no, it's too long. And mostly untrue. <laughs> what did you do this morning? Oh, I went over to the newsreel, like you said, and the National Gallery. How was it? Wonderful. So peaceful and quiet and interesting. And did you ever notice it smells nice? <laughs> it does! How long do you stay? Couple hours. I'm going again. Good. Only next time I wish you would come along. All right. There sure are some things there that could use some explaining. You've been so busy lately, I don't suppose you've had a chance to read my piece? What are you talking? Of course I read it! Twice! Really? What did you think? I thought it was the most wonderful thing I ever read. I didn't understand one word! <laughs> <laughs> what didn't you understand? None of it! Here, I'll show you. Please. <laughs> I'm blind practically. Practically blind. Practically blind. You're wonderful. I'm sorry, I look funny to you. You don't. They make you look lovelier than ever. You sound like one of the man's for eyeglasses. What? Well, like the name of it. The Yellowing Democratic Manifesto. Simple. To who? 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 Well, anyway, not to me. All right. Uh, Look, you know what yellowing means, don't you? Not this time. When a piece of paper gets old, what happens to it? Throw it away? <laughs> no, it turns yellow. It does? Of course. Well, what do you know? All right, now, democratic. You know what that means, don't you? Not Republican. <laughs> Not exactly. It just means pertaining to our form of government, which is a democracy. Oh, what's pertaining? has to do with? Haney. Nice word. All right. Now, manifesto. I don't know. Why didn't you look it up? I did look it up. I still don't know. All right. Look, when I say manifesto, I mean the set of rules and ideals and principles and hopes on which the United States was based. And you think it's turning yellow? Well, yes. I think that a lot of the original inspiration has been neglected and forgotten. And that's bad. And that's bad. Even a cursory examination of contemporary society in terms of the Greek philosophy, which defines the whole as a representation <coughs> of its parts, sends one immediately to the consideration of the individual as a citizen and the citizen as an individual. Well? I looked up every word. Uh, uh, listen. Thousands of years ago, an ancient Greek <coughs> philosopher said that the world could only be as good as the people who lived in it. Makes sense. All right. So I said, you take one look at America today, and right away you figure you better take a look at the people who live in it. One by one, that's all. Yeah? That's all. That's this? Sure. Well, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Fancy, huh? Maybe I should redo that. Explain her. Oh, well, you know that thing you gave me about Napoleon? Uh, no, what? By Robert G. Oh, Ingersoll? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm not so sure I understand that either. No deep meaning there. Well, there must be. He talks about how he, he goes down into Napoleon's tomb. Yep. And he thinks of Napoleon's whole sad life. And then he says that he himself would have rather been a happy father. And I said I would have rather been a French peasant, worn in <coughs> shoes. Would rather have lived in a hut, vine growing over the door, grapes turning purple in the kisses of the autumn sun. Would rather have been a poor peasant with my loving wife at my side, knitting as the day died out of the, out of the sky children upon my knee and their arms about me. I would rather have been that man and gone down to the tongueless silence of the dreamless dust 
than to have been that imperial impersonation of force and murder known as Napoleon the Great. How do you remember all that stuff? Oh, what's an oil description? <laughs> Please do it. Don't try so hard. You missed the whole point. But I like to like what's better to like. There's room for all sorts of things in you. The idea of learning is to be bigger, not smaller. And you think I'm getting bigger? Certainly. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> so, he would have rather been a peasant than to have been Napoleon. So who wouldn't? So, Harry wouldn't, for one. What makes you think not? Ask him. He's probably never even heard of Napoleon. What's worse, he probably never heard of a peasant. You like poison. Who, Harry? Yeah. No. But you don't like him? No. A call of me and him? One reason. There are lots more. What? Think about it. You'll see that Harry is a menace. He's not so bad. I've seen lights. Has he ever done anything for anyone except himself? Me! What? Well, I got two mink coats! That was his brain. He gave him something, too. Don't get dirty. You're supposed to be so wonderful, so don't get dirty. Has he ever thought about anyone except himself? Who does? Millions of people, Billy. The whole damn history of the world is a story of the struggle between the selfish and the unselfish. I can hear you. All the bad around us is bred by selfishness. And sometimes selfishness even gets to be a cause, a, an organized force, even a government. Then it's called fascism. Can you understand that? Sort of. Well, think about it, Billy. You're crazy about me, aren't you? <laughs> yes. That's why you get so mad at Harry. Listen, I hate his life, what he does, what he stands for. Not him. He just doesn't know any better. I go for you, too. I'm glad of that. That's why I started doing all this, I, I guess you know. No, I, I didn't. Well, a lot of good it did me. I never had this trouble before, I can tell you. Trouble? When I first met you, I thought that it was all going to work out dandy. And then, when you wouldn't cross that line, I thought that maybe the way to you was through your head. No, no. Well, what's the diff anyway? Difference. I like you anyway. It's too late for the rest. Why? Look, Paul. There's a certain time between a fella and a girl when it either comes off or it doesn't. And if it doesn't then, then it never does. Maybe we haven't got to our time yet. We did, too. And you dropped the ball. Don't be so sure. I know. I've had lots of fellas, and I haven't had lots of fellas. If you know what I mean. Yes. I sure never thought I'd go through a thing like this for anyone. Like what? Like, like getting all mixed up in my head, wondering and worrying and thinking and stuff like that, you know? I went to sleep in bed last night, and I, I got thinking I couldn't get to sleep for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm so sure it's good to learn so much so quick. What the hell, Billy? Nobody's born smart. You know what the stupidest thing on earth is? An infant. What have you got against babies all of a sudden? <laughs> nothing. I've got nothing against a brain, three weeks old and empty. But when it hangs around for 30 years, it doesn't absorb anything. I begin to think something's the matter with it. What makes you think I'm 30? And you especially. Oh, yes, you did. I, I swear. You certainly know how to get me sore. I'm sorry. 30? Do I look 30 to you? No. Then what'd you say it for? I don't know. Uh, how old are you? 29! <laughs> Stop studying. No. Will you? I don't know why it's so important to you. Sort of because uh, I want everybody to be smart. As smart as they can be. A world full of ignorant people is just too dangerous to live in. I know. 
That's why I wish I was doing better. You're doing wonderfully. But what's the use, you know? You know, most people would laugh at me if they knew what I was trying to do. I'm not laughing. I am. I'm sort of laughing at myself. Who do I think I am anyway? What's the matter? All them books. It, really, it, it isn't only books. I've told you a hundred times. It's mostly. No, not at all. Listen, who said this? The proper study of mankind is man. I don't know. Should. Why? Because I told you. I forgot. Pope. The Pope? Oh, not the Pope. Alexander Pope. The proper study of mankind is man. Of mankind is man. Of course that means womankind too. Yes. Yes, I know. Don't worry about books so much. I've been studying different mankind lately. The ones like you told me, Jane Addams last week and this week Tom Paine and then all by myself, I started in thinking about Harry. Like how he tries so hard to get what he wants, for instance, but he doesn't know what he wants. More of what he's got, probably. Money. Money. More people to push around. Money. But he's not so bad as you think he is. I know, he's got a brain of gold. Hello. Hello, Harry. We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Well, that ain't what I pay you for. She knows enough about me, too much, in fact. Is Jim here? No. Damn it. He's supposed to meet me. What did you find out about Tom Payne? Oh, well, he was quite a fella. Where was he born? Do you remember? London. Or England. Some place like that. What do you mean, London or England? It's the same thing. It is? London is a city. It's a city in England. England's a whole country. Well, it's the God, boy. You got some patience. <laughs> Take it easy. How can anybody be so dumb, huh? We can't all know everything, Harry. Who's Tom Payne, for instance? Who? You heard me, Tom Payne! What the hell do I care who he is? I know. Well, who asked you? If I wanted to know him, I'd know him. I just don't uh, care, that's all. Don't let me butt in. Go ahead. Which of his books did you like best? Oh, oh, I didn't read by him yet, only about him. Oh. But I made this list oh. of the things Who's that Who's Rabbit Merrinville? Who? Rabbit Merrinville. I don't know any rabbits. Ah, see, I think you know so much. He used to play shortstop for the Braves, didn't he? What are you, some kind of genius? <laughs> no. <laughs> I hire and fire geniuses every day. I'm sure you do. OK. Um, where is right that? Uh, well, suppose you start with the age of reason. The age of reason. Then next, who's Willie Hop? National billiard champion, and I believe it's pronounced Hoppy. <laughs> That's what I said. Anyway, I didn't ask you; I asked her. Sorry. Um, where were we? Age of reason. Oh. All right. Next, try the rights of man. The rights of Man. I think that'll give you a rough idea of what What's a peninsula? Shh. Don't give me shut. Think you know so much? What's a peninsula? It's not you. It's that new medicine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Well, what is it? It's a body of land surrounded on three sides by water. So what's that to know? What's this, uh, this Sam Payne to know? Fuck, <laughs> some difference. Tom Payne, not Sam Payne. Tom Payne practically started this whole country. You mean he's dead? Of course. What are you learning about dead people for? <laughs> I wanted to learn how to act with live people. Education's pretty hard to control, Harry. One thing leads to another. It's a matter of awakening curiosity, imagination, independence. First thing oh, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Work on her, not me. No extra charge. Geez, I don't need nothing you can tell me. I'm sure we could tell each other lots of interesting things. What the hell's that mean? Oh, just trying to be friendly. Well, who asked you? You know, the more I see you, the more I don't like you. You know, for a crumb with no place, you're pretty fresh. You better watch out. I got an eye on you. All right, let's both watch out. What? I said, let's both watch out. 
Listen, if I wanted, I could knock your block off if I wanted. Yes, I know. All right, then. Just do what you're supposed to and nothing else. Well, we'll stop for now. No, no, no sit no. down. I want to see how you do this. I really should. I've got to go lie down. You don't realize how hard I work. <laughs> Some joke. 200 bucks a week and I can't even watch. I'll take you out separately, Harry. Yeah, Be glad to. I've got a special course for backward millionaires. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> London or England, honest to God. Jeez. What's this business we're in down here, Harry? What do you mean, we? Well, I figure I'm sort of a partner. Silent partner. So? So shut up. <laughs> I got a right to know. You've got a right to get out of my hair. Now put your nose in your book and keep it. I think I know what it is, only I'm not sure. You no, know, is this something you want you ain't got, maybe? Yeah. What? I want to be like the happy peasant. I'll buy it for you. <laughs> right? You quit your crabbing? Well, I finished finally. They pulled through the load of it. Oh, how'd you like it? I didn't like it. Pretty punk. Really? Helen, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Not me. I don't go for these stories where it shows how miserable it is to be rich. Oh, well, it can be, you see, if a person... All right, can the coffee clutch. Jeez. Knock off, huh? Hey, don't get so pally with everybody. Paul says it's all right. Never mind, Paul says. I don't like it. You know what you are? What? Uh, <laughs> Anti-social! <laughs> You're goddamn right I am! Good evening. Where the hell are you two been? What time it is? I'm sorry. You're always sorry. My fault. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Billy? Superb. Anyway. All right, all right, knock it off. What happened? It's like this, Harry. It's going to take a little more time and a little more money. Why? Well, for one thing, the entire amendment has to be redrafted. Hey, I don't want no redrafting. I don't want to wait. I'm afraid you have to. You don't tell me what I have to. And by the way, I don't like you. You make <laughs> me feel like a sucker. Don't be unreasonable, Harry. There's 96 boats up there. Normal is just one guy. Yeah, he's the wrong guy. What the hell? We've done this before. It's not the same. We'll make it the same. And that's your job, ain't it? It's a pretty tough assignment. Hey, what do I care? And you, you better get moving or I'll butcher you. You're gonna wind up a goddamn YMCA secretary again before you know it. Harry. Listen, I'm gonna get it fixed so I can do business where I want, when I want, and as big as I want. If you two ain't with me, you're against me. I'm with you. All right, then. You better stop pulling your weight in the goddamn boat, or I'll find somebody else who can. You hear me good? Quite a temper, hasn't he? Don't mind him. He's always lived at the top of his voice. Anybody with me, Normal? No, thank you. I don't think Harry should talk to you like that. After all, you're a senator. Oh, well. I don't think anyone should talk to a senator like that. A senator's a wonderful thing. Thank you. The way I see it, if he pushes you around, it's like he's pushing a few million people around. How do you mean? Well, the people that picked you. Well, not quite that many. How many, then? 806,434. <laughs> oh, that's quite a few people to push around. You're not one of my constituents by any chance, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that one yet? What the senator means is, are you one of the people who voted for him? Oh, I never voted for anybody. Why not? I don't know. I wouldn't know how to, I guess. Oh, it's simple. You just press a button. Yeah, but which one? Like, suppose it's between different people. <laughs> well, you read the papers, you listen to the speeches, you make up your own mind. You decide where you stand on something, and then you see who's on your side, who's on the other side. That's all there's to it. Yeah, but, but why do you take it from Harry? That's what I want to know. You're more important than he is. You're a senator. Yes, 
and I have a lot of duties and obligations. Yeah? The operation of government is very complex. Well, why should it be? I understand it fine and when I read about it in books and when Paul tells me, but when I see a thing like this, it's like different. How? Well, when it comes down to what should be laws and what shouldn't, is Harry more important than anyone else? No. Well, then how come he's got so much to say? Who ever voted for him? Well, we'll have a nice long talk about that sometime. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Quite a little girl. Oh, yes. Goodbye. See you, Norval. Got a few things for you to sign, Mike. to explain. No, I wouldn't. I like having things explained to me. I found that out. <laughs> Some other time. Now. You want me to tell Harry? Tell him what? That you won't sign this stuff. Whoever said anything about that? I just want to know what it is. A merger. What's that? Several companies being formed into one. All Harry's? No. <clears throat> Some of Harry's, a few French, some Italian, so forth. A cartel! <laughs> what did you say? A cartel! If that's what this is, I don't want anything to do with me. Uh, with it, it. Paul explained me the whole thing. It's perfectly all right. Don't worry. Are you sure? Ask Harry. All right. No, 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 he won't like it. Why not? He just won't. That's all. You know, he doesn't like people butting in. I'm not people. Listen to me, Billy. Be smart. How can I be smart if no one will ever tell me anything? I'm telling you something. What? Sign this stuff and don't start up with him. Tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because I want to look it over. <laughs> I know why you're so upset. You're sore because you don't like to be doing all of Harry's dirty work because you know that you're better than him. That, that's enough. But I'm not so sure. Maybe you're worse. Tone stuff, huh? Yes, I am. So what's the matter, kid? Nothing. All of a sudden? I don't like that, Jim. Why? What did he do? He didn't do anything to me. It's what he's done to himself. Done what? He used to be the assistant attorney general of the whole United States. Who? Jim! What's wrong with that? Nothing. Just, just look at him now. You know, he wrote a book once, The Roots of Freedom, that was the name of it. Wait. I read it, it was beautiful. Yeah, where'd you get all that? I looked it up. Why? I was at the library. Just look at him now. He hangs around and helps you promote, all because you pay him for it. So we finally get around to me, huh? Yeah. I'm not so sure I like you either. Since when is all this? Since now. Oh, you don't say. I used to think you were a big man, Harry. No more. All through history, there's been bigger men than you. And better. Now, too. Who, for instance? Thousand. Name one. My father. Jeez. Twenty-five a week. Grain of gold. What? Never mind. 
Listen, cutie. Don't get nervous just because you read a book. You're as dumb as you ever were. You think so? Yeah. But you know what? I don't mind. You know why? Because you've got the best- Leave me alone, man! Hey, you come in! No! I've never seen you like this. I've never been like this. I feel like, like I want to go away someplace. Where? I don't know. Hey, I may wind up here in a few weeks. We'll go to Florida, maybe. I mean alone. <laughs> You know what I think? What? I think you've got nuts! Maybe! Calm down! I can't. Why not? I don't know! I just... I know I hate my life! There's a better kind! And I know it and you know it too when you read some of these books! Maybe it's right what you say, I'm still stupid, but I know one thing I never knew before. There's a better kind of life than the one I got. Or you! I suppose you figured you'd be better off with that saxophone player, huh? He was a dime a dozen chump. He works for a living, that's what Hey, I work! I've been working since I was 12 years old. Nobody ever gave me none. Man robs a house, that's work too. In my whole life, I never... In my whole life, I never robbed a house! What the hell are you talking about? You can't understand nothing, can you? Get off that high horse, you dumb little pot! You menace! Hey, I picked you up out of the gutter! I'll throw you back there, too! Well, you never had a decent meal before you met me. <laughs> yeah, but I had to eat it with you! You eat terrible! You got no manners picking your teeth all the time and, and taking your shoes off! That's another thing! You're just not cool. <laughs> I'm cooler than you are. <laughs> that cheap perfume you put all over yourself. Cheap? Hey, I don't know nothing cheap except you. Own. Nobody can own anybody. There's a law. Hey, it. don't tell me about the law. If I was afraid of the law, I wouldn't be where I am. Where are you? All right. You've talked enough. You don't like it here? Beat it. You'll be back. Wait a minute. First to this. Not now. Right now. No! You come here! I'm not going to sign anything anymore that I don't know what I'm signing from now on! Really? You do what I'm telling you! Where is she? 
I told her to take a walk. One thing I can't stand is a crying. What's she crying about? How do I know? Coming, strange girl. Nah, she's all right. She's just nervous because of these damn books. A little learning. Dangerous thing. What? Nothing, Harry. Looks like your passion for educating her was a mistake. I didn't know she'd turn out like this. Remind me to fire that barrel skunk. Why blame him? He must have told her too much. You know what she just called me? A fascist. She did? Yeah, it don't make no sense. I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey. She knows that. What's the matter, Harry? I love that broad. Hey, could we take her to somebody to make her dumb again? Bloody nose. Will you do me a favor, Harry? What? Drop dead!
Could have got a better one out of the automat. Ah, uh, best I could do. I'm thinking of trading them in. No kidding. They're not all for sale, Harry. That's the trouble with this town. There's too many honest men. I'll go downstairs and see if she's, uh... The hell's the matter with you? Uh, nothing. Haven't you ever seen anybody read a book before? Sure. All right, then. Get the hell out of here. Sure. Congratulations. Well, I'll think it over, but I can tell you now the, the answer is no. What are you doing? If you don't know, I must be doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important right now, Crab and Harry's act of romancing? Both? Oh. Honest, Paul, I wish that you. Hi! What's this? Night school? Hey, <laughs> where were you anyway? I looked all over town. I Oh, how's everybody over there? Hey, you better knock off, pal. Why? Because I'm supposed to tell him that she's back. And I don't think he'd like you horsing around with this girl in the middle of the night. He's funny that way. I'll take that chance. You better go. I'll take advice. What's it to you? Listen, noise I can handle, but blood? That makes me nervous. Please, Paul. Sure you'll be all right? Hold it, please. Hello, Porter. This is 67D. Will you please send someone up for my things? Not right now. Thank you. Me up up there. You 
scramming again? For good. You know, I'll tell you the truth, I'm sorry. I think he'll be sorry, too. <laughs> He's going to be more than sorry. So where are you going, anyways? Never mind. What, are you sorry at me, too? In a way. Hey, what I do? What I do? It's a new thing with me. I'm going to be sorry at anybody who takes it from now on. Listen, don't get me thinking. i got enough trouble now. Fine time. Hello, Harry. Where you been? Oh, I went for a walk like you told me. That took till now? What's the matter, Harry? You miss me? No, I got something to tell you, something good. What? Well, you know why I am when I get an idea. I hate to wait. Mm. Well, now that I see you, I don't want to tell it to you. Why not? Well, running out, talking fresh. But uh, I knew you'd be back. You did, huh? Yeah, well, Jim got worried, but not me. Not yet. So, uh, what took so long? I had a lot to think. For instance? Just about where I stand around here. That's what I want to tell you. What? Where you stand. What? All right, first of all, this uh, barrel stuff is out. All right, it gets in my way. And it gets you upset, and that ain't good for you. And the second thing is, we're going to get married. No. And I want you to behave yourself because... <laughs> what do you mean, no? I mean, no, I don't want to. In fact, I've never been more insulted. That's the goddamnest thing I ever heard. Why? Who are you to say no if I tell you? Don't knock yourself out. You got a lot of surprises coming. <laughs> no, you just tell me first. What? How could you not want to marry me? Well, you're too dumb for one thing. <laughs> and I got a different kind of life in mind. Entirely. You just wouldn't fit in. Listen, Billy, I don't know what the hell's going on around here. I do. What? What did I do? What? All right, so I talk rough to you once in a while. Maybe I hit you a couple of times. Easy. Is that any, is that any reason to treat me like this, huh? I done good for you, too. Can't we work this out? No. Why not? All this stuff that I've been reading and, and that Paul's been telling me, it, just mixed me up. But when you hit me before, it was like everything knocked itself into place. And I finally realized what it means. How some people are always given and some take it, and it's not fair. So I'm not going to let you anymore or anybody else. Wait a minute. Come on. Let's go upstairs. I'll calm you down. We used to have a pretty good time, you and me. Wanna go to Florida with me, maybe, huh? I think you ought to marry me, don't you? Damn it, Billy! I don't want to argue about it no more. No more talk! You're gonna marry me. You're gonna do what I'm telling you. You're gonna be damn good and sorry. I'm not scared of you anymore, Harry. That's another thing. You're not, huh? Come on in! Right upstairs. What the hell is this? Wait a minute. Oh, didn't I tell you, Harry? I'm leaving. What? You're for good. Uh -uh, beat it, buddy. Hurry up. <coughs> Listen, cutie. You just don't walk out on me. You're in too deep with me, all right? Maybe I made a mistake hooking you in with it, but you're in. Well, I'm not going to be anymore. I decided. All right. You want to wash it up? Yeah. All right. We'll wash it up. Jim! I'm too important to monkey around with what you think. No, you're spoiled. No, I spoiled you. That's the problem. I was ready to make you a real partner. You don't want it? Fine. You'll see how you do without me. Oh, and by the way, you don't look as good as you did nine years ago. In fact, uh, you look lousy. I'm glad to be rid of you. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah? Vice, Vice. <laughs> You're back. Oh, all set? Shut up. Samantha. So She's off a nut. We're going to settle up. You sure you know what you're doing? The best time in my life I do know. Where'd you put the stuff you wanted on the side? Where? Right there. Where? With blue covers? That's right. Three cup? 
So what's to do? Well, it might be best, considering the circumstances, to call off. What? Let him publish. If nothing happens, he looks silly. What do you mean, nothing happens? I spent two months down here, and I don't know how much dough. I'm supposed to let that all ride? If you want to play it safe. Well, I don't want to. I want what I'm after. It's going to be tough to get. Why? Because some little weasel in eyeglasses gets noisy? I'll cut his tongue out. Harry. Hey, you're a chicken. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You're off the handle. Because it looks like I've been right and you've been wrong. Talk! I told you again and again. You get too big, you become a target. It's easier to steal ele diamonds than elephants. <laughs> Shut up! I'll handle this. And by the way, you're the one who brought him around in the first place. Remember that? Huh? I think you've got something by mistake belongs to me. That's so? How about it? Hey! Where is it? Sit down! Hello? <laughs> How are you? Fine, and you? I'm just fine. Go to his room and get the stuff. Not there, Jim. Where then? All right. You want to play it rough? I can do that too. Eddie, get the door. Now listen, you two heels. I mean business. You got something belongs to me. And if you want to get out of here alive, you're going to give it back. I'm no blow on. Tell him. He's no blow on. <laughs> Once about six years ago, we had a guy killed. There was a. Shut up! You're going to be telling nobody nothing pretty soon. Double negative! Right? Right. <laughs> I don't think you two realize what's going on here. You've never been in trouble like the trouble you're going to be in. If you don't do what I'm telling you! Wait, wait a minute, Harry. Wait. There may be another way to handle this. Look. I really think that you pulled a boner here, my friend. My advice to you is to lay off. And mine to you is to stop sticking your noses into my business. Well, look who's talking. You're the goddamnest Budinsky I ever run into. Told you once before, Harry. That's my job. What? Getting in my way? Not exactly. Well, what is it that I'd like to know, Bill? Find Harry? out what goes on and get it to the people. What people? The people. Never heard of them. You will soon. They get to be more and more well known all the time. What if, what if I were to tell you that this is all? Strictly according to the law. Then I'd say the law needs revision. 
Who are you, the government? Of course. Since when? Since 1779! Thank you. Right. What? Of course I'm the government, Harry. Who do you think the government is? A man? A monster? A machine? No. It's you and me and a few million more. <laughs> You've got to learn to look after each other. I can look after myself, thank you. He doesn't get it. I think it's because they still talk too fancy. <laughs> what he's trying to say is you can only get away with your kind of shenanigans as long as nobody cares about it. I know what I'm doing. I got the same rights as anybody else. Ma, you keep buying more and more rights for yourself. You got nothing to say to me. Good evening, Eddie. Well, this is a nice late little party. Oh, you shut it? up. What? Don't be so happy. What's the trouble? Our friend, Mr. Beryl here has uh, stumbled on to a little something. I don't know what he thinks it is. Well, I'll tell you, just that there may be some connection between Aries Combine and Senator's Amendment. Just a moment, son. I have nothing against you young radicals. I used to be one myself. But you just won't be practical. And everything we're doing is common practice. It's done every day. So I don't see why you single us out to make a big fuss about Yeah, why? Done every day, sir, right? For all, uh, for all I know, an undiscovered murder is committed every day. What does that prove? All this undercover pressure, bribery, corruption, government between friends, sure, it goes on all the time. And it's tough to crack. Ask me. I've tried for years, but you need more than knowing about it. You've got to have the facts and the figures, and most importantly, Names. And he's got them! You be careful when you use the word bribery in my presence. 80,000 bucks you got! What word do you want him to use? Tip? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, I honestly believe that. Well, what, what do I care what you believe? I can't take Knock off! Go sit down! Now that we all had a little beat around the bush, let's get down to it. What can we work out? You just heard your lawyer say it was all according to law? Yeah. Well, if that's the case, what's bothering you? I don't like a lot of noise, that's all. I'll be very quiet. Come on, Paul, what do you take? I'll take a drink, please. If I may, don't be fancy with me. Never met a man yet didn't have a price. I have. I'm talking big numbers here. You and your big numbers. If you don't watch out, you'll be wearing one across your chest. I'll get to you later. <clears throat> now, there's two ways we can do business. One, you can play ball, make it worth your while. Two, you better watch your step. There'll be no place you can walk, no place you can live if you monkey wrench me. What do you say? I'd like to think it over. All right, you got two minutes. <laughs> Inhabitants! <laughs> what the hell are you two batting about? 
Ah, uh, this is America, isn't it? I don't see what I'm doing wrong. Where's all that free enterprise that I was talking about? It's a free enterprise. <laughs> you know, you two are just sore because I made it and you did it. Everybody had the same chance as me. Huh? All those kids I grew up with, where are they now? Nowhere. Because you beat them out like you said. Yeah? You always want to hold everyone down so you can get it all for yourself. That's why there's like me. And like my father. I wanted and he couldn't give me, so I end up with an empty head and with you. you know, I've always done what I wanted, and I'm still gonna. Try it. Who's gonna stop me? Us two. <laughs> you two? Oh, jeez. Don't make me split a gut. It'll be some fine day when a hundred and a quarter a week hick and a broad weeping off her end in ten years is going to stop me. Hey, Jim! You awake over there, huh? Say something. All right. I'll say something. Go ahead. They're right. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Maybe another time, Harry, but not now. And if you're going to do it again, do it fast. It gets harder all the time. People get wiser. They read more, they talk more, they hear more. When enough of them know enough, that'll be the end of you. Don't worry about me. I do, though. I worry like hell. I stay up nights. When you live in Washington, it's enough to break your heart. You see a perfect piece of machinery, the democratic structure. Somebody is always tampering with Trying to get it to hit the jackpot. To the jackpot! <laughs> hey, I'm not a gambler. I'm a businessman. You certainly are. But you tried the wrong business. When you steal from the government, you're stealing from yourself, you dumbass! Ah, <laughs> know what you want. I'm going right ahead. I'll tell you where you're going. You? Yeah. In this whole thing, I guess you forgot about me. About how I'm a partner. Jim told me once, 136 different yards I own. Control. Same thing. <laughs> so here's how it's going to be. I don't want them. I don't want anything of yours or to do with you. So I'm going to sign them all back. All right. Only not all at once. One at a time. One a year. <laughs> and you better behave yourself, because if you don't, I'm going to let go on everything. For what you've done, even since I've known you, I bet you could probably go to jail for 900 years. You'd be a pretty old man when you got out. <laughs> what the hell's going on around here? A revolution. <laughs> Come on, Paul. I'll send for my thing. Go ahead, you little crumb. You'll be sorry for this day. Go ahead, go with them. If I haven't met anybody who outsmarted themselves, it's you. Goodbye, you And you. Me? Yeah, you're fired. I'm sorry, Harry. I did enjoy working for you. <laughs> Help me now. All right, Harry. Do it, Captain John. What's how about that, huh? Huh? He could have had a hundred grand, and she could have had me. So they both wind up with nothing. <laughs> Stupid chump. Yes. Crazy broad. Quite right. Here's to all the stupid chumps. <laughs> and all the crazy broads. Past, present, and future. Who thirst for knowledge. Who fight for justice. Who civilize each other who make things so tough on sons of bitches. <laughs> like you. <laughs> and you. And me. 